Hey, someone is about to get spanked. What if I had over half a million subscribers and I made palpably, horrifically inaccurate, bold statements? Not like subjective statements like, eh, I hate this camera because it doesn't fit my hands or I don't like the color of it. Those are all subjectively valid, but objectively incorrect statements. So yeah, so let's talk about the GFX 100 here. And someone posted a review maybe a day or so ago. And the major complaint in the interior section of the video was uh, when shooting with the GFX 100 that uh, he'd take multiple exposures, yeah, and the camera would just lock up. He basically is like, you know, he's watching his watch, you know, waiting for the camera to write to the card. Inaccurate, and I'm about to prove that that is incorrect. Secondly, he said that the EVF will lock up while it's writing to the cards. Now, I uh, could let you peek through the EVF. I think I can actually let you peek through the EVF, but I'll let you see that I'd actually go to the LCD. If you could actually bring up the LCD and go through the menus while the camera is writing, it's no different than the EVF. So I'm about to prove that is uh, incorrect. Yeah? Um, lastly, too, we're dealing with well, let's be bold here. We're talking about incompetence, actually. Specifically, also noted in the video, he was showing that the cards in his GFX 100 was a really nice fast one in the first card slot, and there was a really slow one in the second card slot. Yes. Now, I'm only assuming that this person was writing in backup mode, but he could have been sending RAWs to slot one and uh, JPEGs to slot two. But I'm gonna test the camera and prove that his statements are palpably inaccurate, invalid, and fundamentally incompetent. I'm gonna shoot in backup mode. I'm gonna show you too what I'm shooting. I'm shooting the largest files possible sent to both cards simultaneously. And what would that be? That would be super fine JPEG plus 16-bit raw. Let me show you this on the back of the GFX 100 here. here you can actually see on the menus, yeah, I'm uh, writing in super fine plus raw. And let me see if I can go over here to image quality. No, raw recording. Yeah, I'm in 14-bit uh, uh, compressed. Yeah, lossless compressed. So make sure I'm not changing. Now, one thing that he failed to do, and I'm going to show you on this camera. I actually have this set, uh, this particular button set for this. Let me go back. And here we go. Here's this nice little thing, boost. It's not regular boost on this camera. We actually have performance boost mode. We have a boost for autofocus. We have a boost for resolution. And here's the primary one. This is just what we call not reading your camera manual. Yeah, let me go through that again really quick. Okay, we got performance boost. We have autofocus boost. And we have resolution boost. And right here, we got FPS boost. That's what we should be in. Yeah? So... Let me let you listen to the sound showing that the cards, uh, I'm going to do a three shot bursts and, uh, let's, uh, let's see if those statements are accurate. Now, mind you, I have, uh, two, uh, 300 megabit per second SanDisk UHS-2 card slots in this GFX 100. Yeah, let me make sure that, you know, you don't think that I've actually changed the resolution. Let me go into menus again here. Yeah, image quality. Yeah, the largest files possible I'm recording, so... Now let me take shots so you can hear the uh, shutter actuating here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let me just put the cursor right over there and yeah. Gee, the camera's not locking up. You could hear the shutter mechanism. I know you could hear it, right? Yeah. Doesn't sound like the camera's locking up at all, you know? Yeah. Yeah, no. And while the camera is writing, yeah, let me go into menus here. You can actually see the red button over here where it's writing. You see, I can go into menus while it's writing. You can see the light blinking over there. Let me actually do that again. Let me take a burst, and then I'm going to try to go into menus because this person says that the EVF will lock up. I'll actually let you look through the EVF while it's writing to the cards, and I'll let you look at the LCD display. Let me see. Let me focus on something back here. Take some. Let you see. Yeah. You can, you can still see through the EVF there. Now let me look, go, uh, go through the menus. This person said, let's see here. Now it's writing. You can see it's writing. I'm in menus. I'm scrolling through the menus. It's still writing. So apparently that statement is inaccurate. Yes, indeed. Palpably invalid, objectively incorrect.
Yeah, I think this is a case, a clear cut case of not reading the user manual. Yeah, am I being a bit of an ass right now? Maybe I am, but the important thing is, is that tattooed bald guy accurate or inaccurate? Well, it seems to be that he's accurate. Yes, once again, let me show you this little magic trick. Yeah, because if I had a half a million plus subscribers and I did a review on a $10,000 camera, I'd want to be thoroughly familiar with that owner's manual. I really would want to be. And uh, yeah, here is what we would do. Let's go up here. You see what I hit? Performance mode, autofocus, resolution. This is one we want. Performance boost for FPS. That stands for frames per second. So now let's let's try that again, huh? Yeah, you see it's writing? Yeah, I can go into menus. I can't go into my EVF. Trust me, you can go into the EVF. I'm sorry, I can't like stick the EVF like right up against there, but uh, you can. If you go to the LCD and navigate the menus in the LCD, you can do the same thing in the EVF because the same information is fed to the EVF as it is the LCD. And he said, if I could not go into the menus on my LCD, then I couldn't go in the menus through my EVF. So let's try that again to prove this person's statements are incorrect. Because this person said, now I noticed in his video that he was using a slow card in slot number two, but I'm writing backup. I'm writing the largest files possible uh, super fine plus uh, raw, lossless compressed raw to slot one and slot two. So I'm writing the largest files possible and the most information that this camera could deliver, which is backup mode. The exact same thing to both cards at the same time, which is backup mode. So let's see that statement once again about, yeah, the menus or the EVF locking up while it's writing. Now when it's writing, you'll see it blinking right over here. So let's see once again, huh? Yeah, it's writing. Now let's go into menus and navigate. You see it's still writing there. Yeah, 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 I can't navigate the menus. Yeah, completely in an accurate statement. The camera does not lock up. Yeah, the uh, statement that, well, you take a few shots. Crikey, mate, you take a few shots with this camera and it'll look right up on you. You can't do a, <coughs> excuse me, you can't do a darn thing with it. Let's, let's see if that's correct. Now you listen for the shutter mechanism once again, huh? Okay. Yeah, let's, let's do that again. Let's go. You wanna, wanna test it? Yeah, it could, could be accurate. Yeah. Do you realize how large the files are that are being written to this camera? Do you realize? They're huge. They're absolutely huge. So yeah, this camera does not lock up. No. You can hear the shutter mat going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm taking a lot of shots. This camera don't lock up. Yeah, what I recommend doing is reading your camera manual. And secondly, doing this neat little thing right over here. Yeah, you see, right over here, you stick in, is you get a, you could afford a $10,000 camera and you could afford fast SD cards. You know, if you stick in like a slow card and a camera that's writing absolutely enormously huge files, yeah, that's just kind of like buying like white well tires on your brand new Lamborghini. It's a pretty similar analogy, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, this camera does not lock up while writing. It does not. Yeah, this statement is incorrect. Existentially, objectively invalid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You see, now, <clears throat> if I were to make such a bold statement, like say about a Sony camera, which is, you know, a junky camera. I don't like Sony cameras, but you know, it's just me. I don't like them for many, many reasons. But... If, however, I, d I reviewed a camera and I said, Crikey, mate, you know, this Sony camera does blah, 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 blah. And that was objectively totally off the wall crazy. Just wrong. The Sony people, rightfully so, they would jump on my back and ride me like a pony. Yeah! They'd be like, you're wrong, tattooed bald boy. That's just, we know you don't like Sony, but what you said was not true. It was inaccurate objectively <laughs> inaccurate and I would deserve what I got so yeah I just got done proving that that person's review <laughs> was inaccurate the camera the GFX 100 is a fine machine so you can say I don't like it that fit my hand I just, I that's valid 
But when you say, this camera does this, it locks up when you're taking burst photography. It's like, you either don't know what you're doing, which is the simpler explanation, like you didn't read the user manual. Because I just got done proving what you said to be not true. Yes. <laughs> was I a bit smug? Was I a bit of a schmuck in this video? Maybe I was. But the real question is, for those who are logically minded, is, is what he said accurate? And yes, I just got done approving it to you. And if you don't believe me after all of that, then you should go verify the same thing yourself. Because there's no magic trick here. I just showed you it don't lock up. It's not like this other person said, well, yeah, I take a crikey, I take a couple shots with it and it, it just goes to sleep on me. I can't do a damn thing with it. That's just not true. It's not true. It's not true about the GFX 100. It's not true. And thank you so much for watching. You have a lovely weekend. It was so nice talking to you again. Yes, I've had too much caffeine. But the real question again is, am I right? And the answer is yes. Yes, I am. Definitely so. Crikey!